good afternoon or good morning or good evening whatever time of day it is when you enjoy brunch because that's what we're here to talk about today i'm nick and welcome back to my channel lizzie angel today we're going to be making a breakfast toast and this isn't like your normal avocado toast this is your childhood dreams brought into your grown-up fantasy okay this is a grown-up peanut butter and jelly toast or at least a play on that with mascarpone cheese and roasted grapes and i'm so excited let's just get into it so i can show you how to make this and the best part about it super easy super fast it only takes about 30 minutes because that's how long it takes the grapes to cook all right let's get started okay so there's only two steps before we throw these in the oven for 30 minutes and that is to put some olive oil on them so i'm just going to drizzle that on top you can be a little generous it'll end up being about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons depending on how many grapes you use and then some salt because we're going to balance out that sweetness as these grapes caramelize they are going to become juicy and luscious and kind of jammy but it concentrates the sugar so they'll become really sweet so we just want to balance that out and now you want to just give these a mix you can use another tool a spoon if you want to i'm just going to use my hands because that's what i have and i'm getting these a good rub so that i can see that olive oil is on all of them and salt i can fill on them and then you just want to make sure they're in a single layer be sure to have removed all of your stems from your grapes before they go in because once they get jammy it'll be kind of hard to identify them now we're just going to take these and roast them for 30 minutes okay so while our grapes are in the oven we're going to go ahead and get our spread for our toast together and what i love about this is it's two ingredients super simple three if you count salt and that is a peanut butter mascarpone cheese so good because you get sweetness you get that peanut butter flavor that makes this whole thing nostalgic and then you get just a touch of saltiness because we want it to be balanced but not too much because we did salt our grapes as well we're just making sure everything is balanced all right so what we're gonna do is we are going to take some mascarpone cheese oh it's so thick and creamy this is like an Italian cheese. Um, it's used in cheesecakes, it's used in other desserts. Super thick, has a high sugar content. Um, it's meant really for like a dessert flavor. And so we're gonna take that, kind of like um, a sweetened cream cheese, if you will, but so much better than that. I don't even wanna reduce it down to just that. So the mascarpone cheese itself isn't overly sweet. If it's not sweet enough for you, you can definitely add in some sugar. I actually would suggest brown sugar. Um, just because it's going to melt down a little bit more and make more of a saucy spread than the sugar which without being heated could be a little grainy in your mascarpone cheese. I find it sweet enough especially with the addition of the peanut butter and the grapes. So now I'm going to take peanut butter powder. You can use regular peanut butter. I like the peanut butter powder because I feel like it's not as sweet. It lets the mascarpone cheese shine a little bit more than just peanut butter. I think regular peanut butter for the same amount that you need for that same flavor just kind of becomes a little bit overpowering. So I'm just gonna work this in, just kind of spreading it out and mixing it up. And once it's all combined, wait until our grapes are ready and spread it on our toast, which we're gonna make in just a second. I personally am not the biggest fan of raw peanuts, but if you wanted to, you could toast up some peanuts and sprinkle those on top as well. Or if you're doing almond butter instead, you could do some toasted almonds and I think that would be fantastic. I'm also a bigger strawberry fan so this works also with strawberries um, or any fruit that you want to do and kind of make your own version of peanut butter and jelly sandwich so I'm gonna give this a little taste okay it's peanutty you got the mascarpone cheese I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt to bring it balanced and then there you go you have like this really thick luscious kind of mixture that's 100% gonna transform you back when we make this. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. All right, y'all, so our grapes are roasted. They are still juicy, but they've reduced down. The sugars are concentrated, so they're a little sweeter than they would have been if you ate them fresh. The texture's really nice, and they're gonna go so well on our toast. Like, let's build them, okay? Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we have our toast here beautiful and brown and crispy so let's just go ahead and build these peanut butter jelly toasts okay so the first thing we're gonna do is take our incredibly delicious mascarpone 
uh, and peanut butter powder mixture, our peanut butter mascarpone mixture, and spread it out all over these toasts. And don't be shy with it. I only made a little because I live alone and by myself, but hey, put as much as you want on there. That's the bonus of living alone. No one can judge you but yourself. And I'm pretty nice to me, so. All right, and now the grapes that I just showed you, I'm just kind of scooping them around on the tray, getting up even some of those little more brown bits. Some bits will get a little bit more browned and sugary. So I'm getting some of those too. It's like burnt sugar, like that taste that when you make a creme brulee, um, that's the flavor that I want. So let me scoop these on there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute too, guys. Like I said, if you want, you can add on some crushed toasted peanuts. You can do some herbs. Um, this will taste really good with a little bit of basil chopped in there or some thyme. Um, I am going to go with something different though. I'm actually going to do a couple crushed red pepper flakes. I always like a little bit of spice to my dishes. Um, especially sweet dishes where the sugar can be a little bit overpowering. So here we have this incredible peanut butter and jelly toast. Grown up version of course with roasted grapes that are deeply flavored, deeply caramelized. And then that fluffy, like super delicious, not too sweet peanut butter mascarpone. I'm going to cut this and then we're going to give it a try. All right, y'all, so sorry that the fan was on that last shot. I hope that you can hear me okay. Um, everything's always down in the description anyway. But we're at the moment of truth. We're going to give this a taste. Stop it. <laughs> it's so good. The perfect balance of peanut butter and jelly that you want in your childhood but elevated so it's not just a super sweet sandwich you get the saltiness from the grapes you get that earthiness from the peanuts just a touch of spice from the red pepper flakes on top and then just that creamy cheesy goodness that you love from mascarpone cheese and if you've never had mascarpone cheese please try this dish it will make you a believer thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode i hope that you make this dish the recipe will be posted in the description where you can find it. And until then, I'm going to enjoy this toast and you all have a great day. Bye.